Welcome back everyone, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Lust for Darkness. Where we left off last time, we were in the world's most messy, well not the world's most messy home, but still a very messy home. Our wife has been kidnapped and is apparently banging cultists on the side, so that's no bueno. For the middle of the night, it is surprisingly well lit in this park. I'm not complaining about the lighting situation here. Where are we going though? Enter the mansion's premises. Apparently this series is actually... Hello? Quite short. But... We'll find out I guess. All right. Hopefully I can avoid getting spotted. What a bunch of lovely old cars. Oh I see, is this like a stealth game? Ooh. You can't see me through the windows because... Oh I can crouch. Where are you? Oh, you're right there. Could you go somewhere else? Thank you, sir. There's a creepy lady there. Let's go into the park. Hello. Apparently he didn't see me, or didn't care to see me anyways. They must have terrible vision. I'm almost certain I was supposed to get caught there, but I guess not. Goodbye to you. Ah, oh, here's something. I hope that's what I'm looking for. Wandering around this damn garden is driving me insane. Let's put on a mask. God, I hope you're reading this, but I'm also worried that something might happen to you. Take care. Those are dangerous people. Don't raise any suspicion. They identified people at the gate, so if you put on the robe and the mask, you should be safe. Alas, here comes the worst part. I couldn't get my hands on an invitation to the celebration. They're going to check them again on entrance. I hope you can find some other way of entering the mansion. I know how all this sounds. I know this is all madness, but you must make it. I'm sorry now. Please get inside, then find me, and follow me carefully. I'll be wearing a white gown, eh? How much in the way of puzzles is it? That is... How do I put it on? Oh, put on. Dur. It's E. I don't feel like myself. This night just keeps getting weirder and weirder. While well, you're wearing cult robes and you have a weird mask on, so yes, you may feel a slight bit different than normal. Don't draw attention to myself. Go through what I presume is the back door. Hello. Creepy mask person. It's an invitation. Why can't I take it? It's a, it's clearly a letter. Just let me take this one. Fine, I'll find a different way. Jerks. Okay, that's the main door, right? Maybe not. Hi. I don't have an invitation. Approaching could end badly. Ah. Okay, so we do need an invitation after all. Let's go look around. It's got to be one. I'm getting weird frame drops in the middle of this. Not particularly trying game either. Hmm, we're lost. We're lost in the very minuscule hedge maze. And it's not so much that we're lost, it's that there are invisible walls, and invisible walls are annoying. Hi. It amuses me immensely when he initiates hearing the word Lustigar for the first time. Lustigar. As how it is possible. Sure, sure. Let's take a look around some more. That is a statue of a woman. Pleasuring herself. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Where are we going? See, I thought that that would be the way in, right? It's, you know, secluded, there's nothing around, there's no guy. Can I just poke him? Hey, can I just get in? 
Maybe I just missed like the take button. No, I really can't take this thing. Okay, fine. Let's find some other way. As a man with a teensy tiny penis. All right. Well, we can at least walk around freely. Rakan Al Matawa, the chosen one. Cool name. All right. We need to find out where to go. I'm kind of lost. Moment. Let's talk to you. Hi, you. You are kind of creepy. Do you have a something I can take? This motion blur is actually getting kind of irritating. Can we turn off motion blur? Is that a thing? No. No it is not. Okay. We'll just stick with the motion blur I guess. It's kind of making my eyes wonky. Maybe there's something up by the cars. Wait, what's over here? Oh, what are you thinking of? Do you have doubts? Not at all. I'm looking I don't have any doubts. I just have no way to get into the party. That's all I care about at the moment. Can't steal the car? Guess not. All right, let's go back over the gardens one more time. So we came this way. There was nothing over here on the benches. There's nothing in the gazebo. That's noticeable anyways. Came along here. We passed the statue of the woman doing her thing. No thing over on those benches. Why am I walking so slow? Please tell me there's not like a exhaustion mechanic in this game. Maybe we can check these windows. Oh, it's a grate. Not that one, though. None of those. Any open windows? Hmm. Well. We might have to do a jump cut, I didn't really want to, but it is surprisingly hard to find your way into this place. I think I'll be back in just a couple seconds when I figure it out. Hang tight. Okay, I'm back. So after exploring a bit, I restarted the map, and apparently we have to like open this is what we have to do and grab the invitation from inside. Maybe now I can get inside. That's what we have to do. Kind of weird. I don't know why I can just take the whole letter. Uh, in our other version, the letter was on that table, if you'll recall, but it can also spawn in that car, so I had to go look for it. And let's head in now. It's time. It's that time we can finally enter the mansion itself. Hello. I have a letter. Our will is for you to present your invitation. Here you are. Welcome among us. The Yelverton's mansion stands open before you. Thank you. We're gonna go inside. Let's go take a look at this cool mansion. You are looking at us and we are reaching towards you. You hesitate, but only for a fraction of a moment you know that all your desires lie among us. Interesting. All right, here we are. What's on the menu? Dear guests of the association, the great ceremony will start at midnight. Enjoy the mansion's charms in the last hours of your humanity. Lovely. There are even more of them. I have a bad feeling about this. How do you not know you have who is in your like elite masky club? What kind of behavior is this? Lechery has come. We shall drown in the embrace of a better world. Good for you, I guess. Um Creepy mass people? Good. Book 4, Entry 13, are you sure? Yes, but as I said earlier, interpretations vary. If you are right.
and to think all the roads we've taken have led us to this very moment. Indeed. Interesting how that happens. Nice spectacles. From like the night. Oh, locked. How oh, this one? Locked. Well, I'm gonna open your cabinet and look at your delight. Oh, here we go. A tea room. Such kind of a nice place. It's like a sitting room. Oh. Joe, how did. Creepy teleporty lady. Oh, is that really her? Part of me just doesn't believe what's happening here. We're going. Wow. So we have a man with no genitalia, a woman with a double penis. And a woman with a single penis. Guess we're not going that way. Got some foreboding music playing. Those paintings, perfumes. She lives here? Search Amanda's room. Apparently we don't care about that. We do care about this. Looks like a puzzle of some sort. How do we start? Oh, there we go. And... Oh, we have to make that symbol. Uh, yeah, that looks correct. Now what? That's not correct. Never mind. Uh, we need to move it. Yeah, like that. But not like that. There we go. What does it say? Baby, I know all that is unimaginable for you. I'm just sorry. That single word will have to do it for now. I can't meet you at the moment, but please stay in the mansion. Take care. Don't draw attention to yourself. Everything will work out fine. Look out for my further messages. I love you, A. It's true, even if I can't accept it. Oh, God. At least she's alive. I need to get her out of here. Somehow. Whoa. That's not normal mansion stuff. But you know what? Okay. Hello, creepy chair. I am... That's kind of vaguely Lovecraftian. I'll give it that. That's the way we're supposed to go, so... Could you possibly show me... Oh, hey, the door's locked now. You're fine, stop doing weird things. Oh. Now we're mostly back to where we're supposed to be. Good enough. Guys, I'm busy. I'm, I want to join the ceremony. Hang on, wait for me. Well, there's a lot of clothes on the ground. I wonder if we should have taken our clothes off. Is that a thing that we're supposed to do? In the eternal darkness beyond the final frontier of our universe roars the lustful god's silent screams. They are calling to us, and our bodies are calling them. Well... We have... A man just... Is he dead? He might be... No, his leg is not moving. That's just us. She's going to town. Younglings, put this on. This is meant for adults. Alright, so what do we got in here? We got... Some drinks. Some topless chick dancing. Couple people boning. And... Guy is having some dessert. And... Some guy is having... Some double trouble. She is just diddling herself, and there's some more sex stuff going on over here, too. There's the voyeur man, just watching. Likes to watch. It's cool. We can 
see down from here. She's just still topless dancing. That is not looking good. That looks like some sort of eldritch portal. By that people... By one person, two people, three people having sex, and one person getting a beach. Important. Oh, and there's another guy just watching with his pants off. Locked. Locked. Well, I must admit, I'm not super scared at the moment. I'm more just sort of bemused by the wanton sex that's going on. Oh my god. What? It's not that. I mean, it's a little creepy, but. I don't know if it would be like an oh my god moment for me. It might be more of like a dude, what the f moment. Uh, this is a bad sign. Ooh. Okay, that's a bit freakier. I'm getting ya. That looks like a vagina fruit. Kinda. Close your windows when it's raining. Dude, you're gonna get rain inside. Unless there's like an awning. Then you're okay. Well, that's a really not good sign. Okay, that's moderately creepy. I'll give it that. We have faded to black. Oh, the first gates have opened and into the darkness taken us. We squirm in a vortex of lust, awaiting the ultimate release. There's an awful lot of loading screens for one mansion. And this one's taking forever. There we go. Alright, moving on. Will you marry me? Yes. No. Yes. Well, she's busy marrying the cult members, apparently. Every night. Did we have a nap? Hey, everything's all cleaned up. Guess the party's over. Time to go home. I don't know what's happening to me. I need to get a hold of myself. I need to find Amanda. Yeah. Look around the mansion. Okay, well, let's go do that. Where are we going? Downstairs. Is that Elders thing still going on? Oh. It would appear the people are dead. Can't get up to the portal. Ooh. Hang on, hold tight. That naked woman is straight up tentacled. Right through the stomach, and she... Is also dead, but I'm not sure... I guess there's chunks missing from her skin, but there's no obvious, like, death wound. We're touching the portal? That seems like a terrible idea. Why would you touch it? It has tentacles that kill people coming from it. Touching the portal seems like a really, really bad idea to me, personally. See, this would make a great adventure game, like a good RPG. If you had like a sword... A dream? Everything is cold. And alien. I don't think I would have stayed in the mansion. I think I would have just gone home. Become a good architect. Design some buildings. Settle down. Again. I don't think I would have gone to the creepy death mansion in the middle of the woods. Or I would have called the police. You know, I just would have called the police anyways. I know it said not to. But I would. Wait, is that a puzzle? Hang on. No, I think it's literally just a nothing. Okay. I mean, it looks like it's important, but I guess it's not. There's some serious alien technology going on here. Like, what is this thing? It's making a weird sound, and what is that thing? Is that a giant penis sticking through a mouth? That is a giant penis sticking through a mouth. Wow. I am learning all sorts of things about anatomy today. Hey, I'll take the... whatever this is. It looks important. Who the fuck built that? Oh. I'm guessing we need all these pieces. Give me that. Um. No, oh, I see. I don't know if I should put anything into the last slot, but well, all I can do is try. Well, you gotta try to find the last slot first. So there's one there. Where's the next one? Oh, I see. This is where we were. Oh, well, that wasn't so weird. Did we miss one back here somewhere? Hey, penis man, are you guarding? 
some sort of thing? No. Alright. Just thought I'd check with you. Can't take that. It seems way too important to just be left here, though. What is it? It just seems quite important. I guess it's not, though. Fair enough. Okie dokie. So I've lost a bit of my scariness of this. It's mostly just kind of neat now. Okay, we got that one. There's... Oh, there's one here. There we go. We got it. It was just hidden around the corner. I will take it. I think it goes here. Alright, how do I do it? We need to move this thing until all the pieces fit. Not there though. No. Hard to tell with all the... No, no, no. Yes. Next one. Uh, no, no, no. It's gonna be that one. Yeah. That was not a particularly hard puzzle. I don't know if we should open the jailed and terrible door. Is that just boobs? No, it looks like skulls. I mean, it could be boobs, I guess. Ah. Let's put on the creepy mask. Oh, this is not good. How long needs the mask can drive you to insanity? All right, well, we made it across that gap, so we're good. Let's take it off. It's cute to take it on and put it off. Got it. Oh, I should have it on to walk through there? Okay, fair enough, I guess. There we go. Can I go down into the death pit? I mean, honestly, if I was in this place for real... Holy shit! Oh shit, I have to run. That's what it's telling me to do. Thank you, I realized that. Thank you. I'll resume. It's cool. I wasn't expecting to die. Really wasn't anticipating there to be an actual enemy in the game. Not super scary, just... You know, death. Is there a quick save at that point? Oh good, there is. See ya. Or I won't see you, because I run like an old woman. You have a freaking ghoul thing right behind you. I'm gonna die again, or die. I think I need to put my mask on before that point. Maybe we throw the mask on first, then run. We got it. Also, we're a little bit over time, so we should probably finish this part and then call it a video. Alright, we'll go like this. Boom. Mask on. Run faster. I'm holding shift to run, damn it. Isn't this where we're supposed to go? I can't move any further, I'm dead. Annoying actually. Maybe we can sneak past. Do you think we can sneak past? Yeah. My dog's watching me with like a vague disinterest. Alright, let's try and sneak. Huh? Well, that's stupid. He was right there. He actually came around the corner at us. Okay. If we go to the other side, maybe he'll go past and then we can just run for it. Smart. Thinking. Strategy. We've died like six times though, so there's no way our girlfriend is getting back together with us. Okay, we'll go like this and we'll go... Boop. I'm just listening now. So they know exactly where we are, so running is really our only option at this point. Sneaking? Not so much. And also... 
Where were we supposed to go? I didn't actually see any place to go in that room with the weird glowy opening. Alright, well, let's try it again. I'll put the mask on just in case. Goodbye, thing. I am holding ship to run. Don't worry. Oh, we have to click on it. That makes a hell of a lot more sense. I don't know why we have to click on it. Can I take off the weird mask now? Do I still have it on? No. Hello! Creepy window mirror? What is going on with her face? Oh, it's a mask. Gotcha. Hi, Amanda. Amanda, it's you, isn't it? I can't believe it. I can't believe what's happening here. Please tell me I've gone insane. It's me. But we need to stay calm. Keep it together. Baby, tell me. Why? Why are you here? Why didn't you let anyone know? The cops have been fucking searching for you. Do you understand that? Tell me. I've been kidnapped. You could have escaped. We could have made it. And even if they got me first. They didn't say they would kill you. They threatened to kill the baby. What? What are you? That son of a bitch said he would kill the baby, Jonathan. Our boy. When they kidnapped me, I was pregnant. I gave birth in this fucking mansion. I... Uh, I don't... I don't know. Listen. We don't have much time. That's why I brought you here. The ritual is our best chance of getting our baby back. I cannot do that. I must help Willard all the time. But I managed to get some information. The room with a crown symbol. That's where he keeps him. You have to find our son and escape. I'll join you later. Willard, the owner? It was Sam? He was behind all of it? I've gotta go. Our baby, in the room with the crown symbol, remember? Be careful. If something happens to you, I'll never be able to forgive myself. Amanda. We're doing an awful lot of talking if we're trying not to be caught. Just saying. Okay, well, we're gonna- The owner of the manor. The man who entered our lives and turned it into something grotesque. If it hadn't been for him, I would have been with Amanda all that time. And I would be a father. I don't really know who Willard Yalverton is. I only know he brings evil, and he has now breathed it into me. I just found out that I have a child. I should be filled with love, but all I feel is my pure, growing hatred burning inside me delightfully like poison. The sound balance in this game is a little wonky. Anyways. We're going to call it here. Our minds create oceans of questions. Soon we shall lie in the lustful god's shadow, and all answers will size to matter. Cease, I think it's supposed to be, which is C-E-A, S-E, instead of C-E-I-Z-E. But anyways, not important. Let's call it here. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you all next time. Take care.